Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Sagwaromatic. Threw a tantrum on the sidewalk because I wanted to try on a dress made of real flowers that was on display in the flower shop window. But what do we think? Is this drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where digital beatdown asks florists of reddit what is the most outrageous card message you've had to deliver with flowers? My fiance is a florist. She often sends me ridiculous messages she's been asked to attach to flower orders. My personal favourite so far. Sorry I knocked up your friend. From David. Thanks for letting me borrow your deodorant. It was an edible arrangement. I'm not sure why that makes any difference. We used to have a card that had a picture of a dog in a doghouse in it. Used that one way too many times. Once someone had me write, sorry but I'm choosing her, you can have the kids. Thought that was pretty brutal. I used the doghouse card, thought it was appropriate. Not me but my florist mom. She had a lady come in and get a decent bouquet and watched as she spent 20 minutes finding the perfect sympathy card just to write, sorry you're such a dumb bitch. Apparently it was for her sister. My mom, who has three sisters, could totally relate. This question is so perfect for me, but these are the two I can remember most recently. I love you, my dirty hooker. And please unblock me on Facebook. When you receive these, I will no longer be alive. Oh, savage. Finally, one for me. Got a lot of sorry I cheat on you, but one that really stuck out was... I'm so sorry Jean has cancer. You can have the decorative plates back. Love, Marianne. When my mom was dating my stepdad, he would send her flowers with this heartfelt note every time. Regards, Bob Johnson. Not really a card message, though he may have written that on a card eventually. But while I was working as a florist, a guy asked me to help select what kind of flowers he should get to tell his girlfriend, sorry I cheated on you. So that. So many amazing cards have been sent, anywhere from puppy play related cards to a singular guy sending three different arrangements to his wife, girlfriend and mistress, but the one that takes the cake is from a girl to a guy. Hey fuckface, thanks for all the drunk messaging and shit. If you like me, then stop being a fucking pussy and make a decision bro. Fuck you. Ciao. The first time I ever sent flowers I was about 18 years old. I ordered online and had no concept that a florist would have to write out my message. I assumed it would be printed by a computer and they'd barely have to look at it. I left the most sappy, long-winded, rambling confession of my undying love. When I visited the girl I'd sent the flowers to, I saw that the florist had taped pieces of paper into the card to extend the handwritten message. I was so mortified thinking someone but her had read what I'd wrote. I work for 1800 flowers. The worst one I got said, to my one and only, I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was married. <laughs> How can they be your one and only then? When I worked as a florist, we had several interesting ones that stood out. One, there was a guy who sent a dozen red roses to this girl every week, which is a lot of money, but not too unusual for some couples. However, the girl didn't want them, and my delivery driver often said last week flowers were still on the porch. One week she called us and asked us to stop delivering to her as she had a restraining order out on the guy and that we could just donate the flowers somewhere. His next message was, I'm sorry I came to your house last night. Please don't call the police. Love, douchey guy. And we refused the order, but I still think about how thick this guy was to spend thousands on a girl who had an actual restraining order against him. 2. Valentine's Day is a florist's most dreaded week and the cards are always really sappy, generic or embarrassing, which provided us with a lot of amusement. We also bring on extra help for the week and one year we had an Irish guy answering phones and manning the register while we furiously worked to create hundreds of arrangements a day in the back. This led to some interesting conversations as the accent created some miscommunications. Someone dictated a card to him that was something like, I can't wait to see you tonight, I'm counting down the time on the clock. They also literally said winky face, haha, and the Irish guy asked him several times to repeat the message to be sure it was right. Then there was a long pause 
and he had to mute the phone and laugh. After the call, he said the guy resorted to spelling out the message, but had a little mishap and said, it's clock, C-O-C-K, clock. And from then on, whenever someone asked the time, we'd all say, check the cock. Three, the dead roses arrangement accompanied by, these roses are as black as your heart, bitch. The note on the order said to make the arrangement as dead looking and goth as possible. An arrangement for a new baby, in this case, twins. I'm sorry for the bad news. Good luck. Best part was they asked for a sympathy arrangement instead of one of the new baby themed ones. Do you have a card that says to my one and only? Yes, we do. Can I have a dozen? I was a wedding planner. I got a call from a soon to be bride the next day on my work phone at stupid o'clock. She is bumbling, perhaps drunk, and there's loads of noise in the background. It took me a while to get what she was talking about. The groom had sent her a bouquet of flowers that read, I don't. Well, shit. Now I'm in bed panicking, waking up my ex and scramble to locate and contact the groom. I get through to his number. He was sleeping, hungover, as I would have been, and slept through missed calls, apparently. He's annoyed and confused. I think my words were, John, what is going on? Why send flowers like that? Turns out one of his groomsmen had sent them as a joke, like a stag party joke. Everyone, and I mean everyone, was furious. So yeah, the entire bridal party had less than three hours sleep before the big day, myself included. It was an intense day. The amount of fucked up shit I've seen at weddings is unreal. Welcome to Dumpville, population you. And he did it all the time. Every time he got a new girlfriend, he would never send them flowers the whole time they were going out. Only when he dumped her. Fucking guy, man. I sent a very explicit message to my significant other via an online order of flowers. I got a call from a very angry florist telling me that I couldn't write such lewd things in the card. We haggled a bit and he allowed me to sign the card with, your number one nasty man. Not a florist, but every year I get my mom and my sister's flowers for Valentine's Day. And one year, an online florist delivered the wrong set of flowers to my mom, which the card said, happy birthday, beautiful. That ass just keeps getting fine with time like the most expensive wine. We does that. Exo, exo, boo number one. My girlfriend is a florist. The weirdest request she had received definitely has to be an arrangement that came with the message. Dear Alex, you are not retarded. Macy. I removed these from nature so that you can watch them slowly die in your house. <laughs> Pretty much my feeling towards flowers too. Get a nice pot plant instead. Have you ever sent a funny card with flowers? Share them in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who cried because they wanted to try on a dress? It was a drunk. I was totally blackout drunk. My friends say I proceeded to model for them by walking down the sidewalk as if it were a runway. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.